Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're back down here at my friend Dean's place, SoCal Classic Car Storage. We're with my friend Alex and it's one I've been looking forward to for a while. He's out there in the world making albums on tour, like seriously working as a musician, <laughs> right? We are. Legato 7? Legato 7. I saw Alex roll through one of the quarantine cruises. It was an obvious, like, this is a car I want to shoot. You know, it's, there's elements of it that kind of remind me of my buddy Chris's car, Vicious Mustang, all right? Didn't see it for a while, you came back out. Now the car is actually out. Like, you're pretty much driving. It's still sorting some stuff on Yeah, it, right. 65 Mustang, I know. Remember I told you I thought it was Junior Backyard Special that built the car, but it's him and a lot of other people in it. Yeah, definitely him and a lot of, a lot of people put their hands in the car, man, and uh, yeah. I'm thankful for, for all of them, you know? Why don't we sit for the engine? Let's put it in. Uh, 51, it's small block with the board out to 48. Yep. Do you know what kind of power you make with it? It's under? 600, yeah. Nice, dude. Naturally aspirated, that's yeah. great. That's yeah. perfect power, don't you think? I wish I could have a little bit more, but... Do you really? I swear to God, it's so funny. I really wanted to put a brush iron on it, but then I had to make all these changes and weird. So you're getting from these vents on each side, that's what's feeding the cold air. Yeah, we got some filters in, on, on, on both sides. Oh, I love it. I love how simple this is, man. This is... And, you know, dude, we live in a world where everything is LS or Coyote, right? And, and I'm not knocking it, I swear to yeah. you, but it's so fun to see something that's not that. And the 351 such a great engine to, to push it out and get some more power out of it and stuff. You know, it's great. Okay, so then what is it made to, what do you got transmission-wise on this It's an OD, four-speed. So four-speed auto. Yeah, from yeah. Uh, California performance transmissions. Is it a four nine inch in this car? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a four nine inch. Yeah, I mean, I figured, look, dude, we're, this car is obviously Ford all the way. Yeah. Ford 9 inch is probably the most bulletproof rear end out there, or certainly one of them. I know you Mopar guys are gonna say otherwise, and it's a Dana, <laughs> I get you, but bitch and setup. And then how about you were just starting to talk suspension. Is it still like the stock subframe on the car? Or? Yeah, the car is certified by Ford um, from this company, which they did everything on it. So you are still stock sub, no, that is it. I'm sorry, it looked like the subframe has changed on that, but I can't tell for sure. But I can tell you've done control arms for sure. Oh yeah, sure. it has control arms, control over to around some. Nice work. And Junior did some of that work? Did he yeah. need like suspension and, and yeah, that? Yeah, he, mon he mounted all that, yeah. Is it like a four link rear on this? It's a four link, yeah, four link suspension. This is one of those things I see more and more lately where people do a gloss paint, but on the engine bay, all the matte fitting. Yeah, with the same um, underneath too. Oh, is it really? Is yeah. it all matte under? It's all matte, yeah. Nice. And then you got, I see a Willwood Master. Do you have Willwood brakes on the car? Yeah, Willwood brakes, uh, four piston in the back, six piston in the in the front. Oh yeah, you sure do have big brakes, don't you? Nice, dude. <laughs> this is one of those, I'll bet you the flares on this car, people either really like them or you probably get people that paid them too, huh? Like, yeah, I get both, definitely. Mm -hmm. I like them, I love them. I personally like them, and it, it, like I said before, kind of, not like it's coffee, but it does remind me, yeah, friends, first is car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know well, honestly, um, it was a big inspiration for this car. Was it? That one, the first one that I ever seen uh, with the white body was Cam Blocks. And I, I, yeah. loved, it. I loved it, but then I seen the, the, the Bishop Mustang and... It's funny with flares, dude, because some people, I know like some people hate flares personally. I don't know, I like it. I mean, it's much easier to put a big fat tire under the yeah. car, right? Speaking of which, do, what are your wheels on here? Race lines? Race line. Race line billets, yeah. Do you know the sizing on them? I think they're 22s. I'm not so sure about it. Okay, yeah. we gotta figure this one yeah, out. Yeah, figure I, that out. We got a 20 by tall in the rear and a 20 by 9 in the front. This is what I wanted here. So, who, what's your name? I'm Walter. 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 Yes. He's my friend. He's, he's pretty much the one that put all the cars together for me, too. He's eating the yeah, whole and all that. Part so, all the questions I'm asking him where he's going, I don't know, man. I just wanted to drive with <laughs> Yeah, yeah you took one of you know all the answers. Really? Yeah. That's all right, so I was asking Alex up front on the car. I was looking through his suspension, and I asked him if it was still stock subframe or if it's a different subframe under there in all the suspension components. And It's a whole different um, suspension component. It was by the company, was it TCI? TCI. TCI. So, we have so it's their whole front end on the car. Their whole front end, their whole rear end. So the TCI, is the, that's the Mustang, it's based on the Mustang 2 geometry, Correct. right? Correct. Yeah. It's a rack, 
It's a full disc all around, coil works all around. Yeah. I think we did also did like a one inch drop spindle just to get that aggressive look of having it a little bit more stuck to the ground. Gotcha. So this car handles probably pretty oh, yeah. well, I would think. Oh yeah, I have an and. <laughs> is there a color name for this or is it a full custom color? <laughs> Mexican blue from Forge. And, and actually before we this car got painted, there was multiple samples that were done just to get it right. And at the end, this one wasn't even shot. Yeah. I remember we did multiple ones yeah. and then all of a sudden we just went with this one. And now, now it's up to me that this is right. one of the Porsche blues. It looks it looks reminiscent of Miami blue, they call right. it. Yeah. So we were just starting to talk wheel and tire sizes when you walked up. <laughs> Alex was about to go, I don't know, man, they're wide. <laughs> I like your answer, actually. I don't know. I think they're 22s. Like, I don't think they're 22s, yeah. bro. <laughs> Thank you for us. What's the wheel and tire sizes on it? Oh, Brian, it's a 255 30 by 20 on a 20 by 10. 20 and on, 10. on the rear, we went really aggressive on it. It's a 345 in the rear. 345? 345, and it's on a 20 by 12. 20 by 12. Correct. Got it. What, what exhaust does this car run? You so it's, it's running a three <clears throat> inch from front to back by Get the Performance. Yeah, they're your name. Who's the role? Oh, you see performance. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that guy does incredible work. Custom made exhaust stuck into the car. So, so it's all uh, kind of into the unibody. Or, yes, it's really, yeah. really tucked in. It's ceramic coated and also it's a heat shrink thread towards the center so to prevent so much heat going into the car. Really cool. Radiator hoses, intake. As you've seen it, it's all full custom. There's nothing stock on this car. Even in the engine, he was going to go with a Coyote and, and we went back and forth and he decided to keep that old look on it. I love it. That choppy sound on it instead of a coyote. We were, we were talking about before you got here is we're in a Coyote LS world. I'm not knocking them because they're great and they're great. Right. Like no knock whatsoever. Right. And there's nothing like the sound of like a, an engine like that, you know, and choppy. And old. What's the, what, and you know, it's not like you're out racing going for tenths of a second. You're going out driving your car on the streets and having a good time. Correct. You know, so let's talk about some of the body mods because, and I love that you credit that like some of the inspiration of the car comes from my friend Chris's car, Vicious Mustang. Yeah. Because <laughs> the flares are definitely reminiscent of that, but they're not that. I mean, they're their own thing. But then like while we're standing back here, I notice you've worked this into it all. Everything at Flush Mount, even the bumper, there was tons of uh, metal work. There's tons of work on this car. Totally. Flushing everything, um, mocking everything up, taking everything back apart. Yeah. It was just insane. I mean, that bumper's tucked beautifully, man. Actually, they extended, if I'm if I don't, I'm not mistaken, they extended a little bit of everything just to pull those gaps into that perfect one eighth inch gap around. Really slick, man. This is all the same company, right? Do, so they metal work this to create a spoiler going across Correct. the back as well. Correct. With really cool stuff. And then there's more, like I noticed, this is so bitching. And does that, does that best feed to brakes in the back? Yes, it is functional. It is functional. And actually before any of the uh, customization was done on the body, this car was certified by R3. So it's a four certified car. It's a title car. We took it to R3, they certified it meaning they did the metal work. So when we brought it back, um, back to our specialties, did all the flares and all the body work on it. But you're doing all that on a certified Ford yes. Mustang. Correct. I gotta say, I've never heard that before. That, <laughs> right? That's, that's cool, the lights you went to on this. Wow, music business is treating you good, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Cars on this level, they not only do they take the time and energy, they take somebody that's willing to fund it, right? It doesn't, right. you don't do this car for 50 grand. You no, don't. no. I know you don't. Not even close. No, it, was, it, was, uh, it was expensive, yeah. And I'm not telling, <laughs> dude, you don't have to mention, I'm not asking, I swear to you, I'm not asking you to mention dollars. It's just as we keep going through and finding things like this, the yeah. metal work on the car, the components that make oh. up the car, even down to like the choices you made here on your door handles and mirrors, which are super important. All Ring yeah. Brothers, uh, I feel like all, all the aesthetic stuff, like the things on my head, door handles, the gas tabs. That's all Ring Brothers all stuff. Brothers. Are. Yep. Yep. There's one thing that I wanted to do, Ring Brothers, but you decided not to, which were the tail lights. Oh, okay. Those are still factor. We just modern them up with LEDs and. Are they sequential or anything like that? They're or? not sequential. They're not. Okay. So you wanted to keep still some of yes. the element of. The I just wanted the car ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is another cool touch as the exhaust comes out of the valance here, how he shaped right. the balance to go. 
So you had to think about your exhaust tips before doing that. Like you had to know what you're doing there first. They were purchased before the, the fabrication yeah. actually. Oh really? Yeah, they fabricated around the, the exhaust tips. Bitchin'. Yes. I know I geek out on this stuff, you guys, but I really do genuinely. I, I truly geek out on it. Like I love I love what it takes to build a custom car because you have to you have to there's so many design choices you have to make along the way, you and know. So many things you change. There's a couple of other body mods. I mean, just while we're on the body things, I noticed like while we're talking. So that's Ring Brothers Correct. as well, you said, right? Correct. And then that's functional to actually get hot air out mm -hmm. of the engine bay. That is correct. A lot. And then up front, I love these cutouts and, and your choice for turn signals and marker light. <laughs> that is Ring Brothers as well. Is it? Yeah. yeah. And then the whole grill area has been modified pretty radically. It, um, there's two filters on each side that sucked up into the air intake. We were talking about that, how you can see the, the custom intake yes. that was built for it. So it's, it's eating cool so air. So they are functional for that. Yeah. Me. All right. I think we covered the exterior of this car. One of my favorite places on a car always is, ooh, those are pluttery door guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? How easy it is right? Like, versus the old ones where you might be, you know, breaking your thumb, getting you in there. You think there would be a little stiff on the, on the knob, but they're not. What are these seats out of? Those start out of my uh, 2016 Mustang. And then cut down, right? Or down, yeah. Made what I, by a California on Foster. Oh, those guys did a great job, man. I, yeah, I've seen a couple of their cars. Yeah, I love it. And then what are the door panels? Is that also busted? No, that's all custom. It's all yeah, straight all up busted. But by then, yeah. The whole dash. The bad, the whole dash. Yeah. I mean, it ties in well with these seats because you've modernized the hell out of the interior, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, dude, this is so cool. No, the, the lights are like, yeah. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Wild. And it goes throughout the whole interior inside. It sure does, does, man. Okay to sit in here? Yes. Yeah. What that dash is, is that? An autometer. Autometer. Auto auto it's crazy how modernized this interior is, dude. It looks like a prototype modern Mustang interior or something. This is wild, bro. And it's all custom. It's all done by California. All awesome. done by Joe. Yeah. I'm gonna be with. What a cool car, bro. Thank you, brother. You got. You're digging it, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell you are, man. Well, hell, if there's nothing more, did, did you guys open up the trunk? Oh, we didn't yet, yeah, actually. We haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this trunk holds two batteries, one on each side, all the audio components up front, and uh, subwoofers are inside the interior actually, not in the, out, not in the trunk. And you got just enough room to put like a, a really small instrument, a nitrous bottle. A <laughs> nitrous And you gotta get, I, well, we'll see when we go drive, but I gotta imagine getting a lot of thumbs up, some people looking over. And... Yeah, people like it, some people doesn't. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Anyways, enough babbling from me, guys. Let's go for a drive in this supper. Yeah, we got our own uh, record label. It's called Lumbre Music. We got a couple artists in there too. 
I made a living, but I never made great money with it because I was in. I had a different mindset about yeah. it. I, I approached it more as an artist rather than you as an artist. You had a businessman. Somebody told me that it's the highest point of the where the thermostat comes to, uh, for the hose to the radiator. Yeah. The, the, he, the guy did it like he has like a, a, a fountain. So the guys they telling me the maybe he's getting air right there. And because the, the highest so point should be where the radiator is at. Gotcha. Yeah. So hang on before you get out of the car because look, this mm -hmm. is so this isn't the first time this has happened. This is a fairly fresh build, right? Yeah. How many miles do you have on this car? Ooh, probably like I want to say like a thousand miles. So you're still finding things though, right? Yeah, I'm, oh, definitely. I'm still finding things. It's been my second engine, two transmissions. Yeah. And yeah, definitely. Um, they say you need to fuck around to find out and we find yeah. out. <laughs> Dude, and, and if you don't mind, I want to leave this in the video because you guys yeah. know, you guys hear me talk about this, is that with custom cars, it's not 
build it and now just turn the key and go drive it down the road and it's yeah. like buying a brand new car right there's mm -hmm. there's a, a process of sorting things out and you're yeah. not easy on your cars i can tell <laughs> <laughs> that's what you learn. then we'll leave it with that you guys thanks for hanging and watching and alex thanks for dude by the way you guys while we were standing here i wish we had this on camera a guy comes walking out of a shop here and he's a fan of alex's music so alex you're a bona fide rock star with me dude <laughs> appreciate the brother thank you brother i appreciate Pleasure. it man thank you